the crowd support seems to be behind Tatsuji, although Ryuji is actually the local Fukuoka fighter. Great ovation for Tatsuji. 70 kilo, 154 pound K1 Max Division fight. As both men get the final instructions, Ryuji in the blue corner, Tatsuji in the red corner. Tatsuji, as I said, coming off that loss to Yuya Yamamoto last time out. Ryuji losing to Hayato in an absolutely cracking fight back in 2000, uh, 2008. And we are ready to roll three by three minute rounds. Michael Chabello, Mike Kogan with your ring sign from the Marine Messe in Fukuoka. Tatsuji in the red gloves, Ryuji in the blue. Very well built fighter is Tatsuji. Huge chest on him. Nice three punch combination, lead kick overhand right from Tatsuji. He has opened up like a house of fire. Takes the lead leg out of the way. Counters beautifully with the right hand. Double left hook from Tatsuji. This is fantastic work from Tatsuji in the opening seconds, Mike Kogan. Yeah, he's completely overwhelming uh, Ryuji um, with, with uh, body head, body head combinations, uh, you know, mixed in with kicks. I mean, he's just delivering it all. And right now, Ryuji doesn't seem to have much of an answer for him. Already some reddening around the left and right eye, especially around the right eye of Ryuji, courtesy of that pulverizing jab. Tatsuji sits behind the jab, he'll throw it, he'll pepper with it, two, three or four, then go downstairs and chop the lead leg or power through with the right hand. Yeah, very effective. But there was almost a knockdown there. A very effective use of the jab, and he kind of keeps it in his face, even if he's not throwing it, to kind of... There it is again. Use it as a setup for the rest of his offense. Throws the right hand, pulls the jab to the face again, digs away to the liver section, turns back to center into Tatsuji. Eats the right hand but shrugs it off. You know, it's ironic. You, you watch the K1 World Grand Prix in heavyweights, and then you come and watch the Max Fighters, and you go, wow, the Max Fighters are really fast, right? But then you put a 60 kilo fighter in there, <laughs> and all of a sudden the Max Fighters are looking kind of slow. It's like Max on speed. Jabbing away here, Tatsuji. Superman. I like it, Superman. Max Light. Sounds like a soft drink. Under a minute remaining here in the first. Yeah, Max Light does sound like a soft drink. <laughs> Supermax. Ooh, high knee from Ryuji gets counted. It was a silly technique if he wasn't confident about it. Just eats another jab to the kisser. Ryuji doesn't seem to be really doing much of anything or, or attempting any kind of an offense. He has been spanked here in the first round. Or a game plan, so he's, he's pretty much just like a punching bag for this round. Jab from Tatsuji. Love the way he sits behind the jab, tucks the chin. Throws that right hand with power. Jab outside thigh kick, bread and butter combination from Tatsuji. Final seconds of this ownership round for Tatsuji. And poor old Ryuji will go back to the corner and get some much needed instruction. Tatsuji rightfully pumps the fists into the air. As we look backstage, Giorgio Petrosian warming up. The Italian via Armenia will take on the contender star Jabir Askarov in the first of our fights here tonight of the K1 Max Final 16. He's actually Armenian via Italia. 
Oh, I'm Italian, so I try and claim him as one of the very few ever K1 Italian fighters, mate. Him and Sam Greco. You don't sound Italian. 10-9, 10-9, 10-9. All three judges, as expected, going the way of Tatsuji. Mikey, they got it right. Oh, yeah, this time they did, and uh, Ryuji's uh, coach was giving him much-needed instruction in a corner, showing him a bunch of punches and kicks. Seemed pretty energized, so... A lot Safe of to swelling. say he's not happy with the outcome of the first round <laughs> or his fighter's performance, as he shouldn't be. I mean, it wasn't like even a close round or a round that could be disputed or argued. It was just a one-sided affair from Tatsuji beating on Ryuji. Second round of three, Tatsuji forced to cover up early. Ryuji's come out with a little bit more fire and they are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe now. Hey, whatever that coach said is working. Should have said it earlier. Step up knee from Ryuji, and again trying to thread it under the jawline. Wild up a gut. Well, you, you can see the, the experience level in Tatsuji. Um, maybe not right this second, but before that you could see it. Um, you know, he sits behind that jab, and when the jab stopped working, he kind of used it as a push hand to set up his offense. That is one of the most beautiful jabs you will see. And I love the way he'll pump the jab twice and then dip the left hand down to the liver section. Beautiful work off the lead hand from Tatsuji. Clips him with the left hook to the jawline. Fires the right hand down the tube and again. Just needed a little bit more mustard behind it, Tatsuji. Like that. Did Ryuji spend all his pennies in the first minute here? Because Tatsuji is coming on strong again. Yeah, I think it's, I, you know what, I think at this point it's just skill level. I mean, Tatsuji is just too much for Ryuji, you know. So he came out, he came out strong, but as strong as he could. And now Tatsuji is back to, to, to taking, you know, just kind of shredding him apart. He's picking him apart with his punches. I'll tell you what though, Mike, Tatsuji has the right idea here by throwing the overhand right. Because continually Ryuji is dropping his left hand and he is right. Right, and he's paying for it. Yeah, he's paying for it with, with every, every time he's paying for it. And uh, he might end up, you know, KO'd. You can see why Tatsuji versus Yamamoto back in February at the Yoyogi Arena was one of the fights of the night. Tatsuji is all work, all combinations. Flips him with the left hand. There's the opening for the overhand right, but he chose to go for an uppercut liver section shot. Under a minute remaining here in the second round of three. Ryuji controlled the first minute. The second minute and onwards, though, has been all Tatsuji. Plenty of instructions coming from the corner of Ryuji. They're a little bit more silent, but no doubt very happy in the corner of Tatsuji. There's a good right hand from Ryuji. Just didn't have the pepper behind it again. Needs to turn the body through and not just punch off the shoulders. Good evasion work from Tatsuji. Needs to get out of that corner now, though, and he does. Goes yeah, back to center ring. Like you see, you know, high output, punching output from Ryuji, but they're not landing. You know, Tatsuji all dodged punches, every one of them. All arm punches, Mike. And then delivered some of his own. Look at that uppercut. That landed. End of the round. And Mikey, I'd say, again, Tatsuji's round. 10-9 in my score cut. Oh, absolutely. I agree. As we see Jabir Askarov backstage warming up and the team from the Koh Samui WMC camp in Thailand that Jabba calls home these days. I just realized I'm 0-2 so far in our picks. Oh, in the backstage picks? I'm 0-2. I'm going to update mine. I think I'm 1-0 at the moment. That's depressing. <laughs> I did pick Tatsuji, so hopefully... Okay, 10-9, 10-9, 10-0. Two judges got it right. One judge gave it a draw. Somehow, I don't quite know how. I'm okay, Mike. I'm 2-0 at the moment. You are? On our backstage tip, Yamamoto and Hamasaki. Yeah, but you took Ryuji and he's... I did too. I'm not going to win this one. Ryuji needs to knock out Tatsuji to win this one. Ironically, all the uh, proceeds from today's backstage pick will go to some fun. A charity. We're just not sure yet which one, but it all goes to charity. It's all for good cause. Third and final round. No, it doesn't. It goes in our pocket. <laughs> We're terrible people. 
pressure on us as commentators, mate. Tatsuji again just threading these beautiful combinations. Now, Ryuji on the front foot, as he was in the first minute of the second round, but he doesn't want to run out of steam unless he can try and find a knockout punch, but I don't believe it'll happen. He just hasn't got the power in the hands. No, he also has, doesn't have the accuracy. He's not landing anything, I mean, except for the leg kicks, but, uh, you know, when it comes to punching, Tatsuji's landing probably good 90% of his punches. You know, I mean, uh, props to Ryuji for having a lot of heart. And not backing down and constantly, you know, trying to win the fight. Nice right hand from Ryuji. Mike, he certainly hit Tatsuji on a number of occasions with clean right hands, but just no power behind them. Well, and there's also isolated incidents, you know. Uh, Tatsuji's coming back with two, three, four punch combinations with, with three out of four punches landing. You know, you, you can't win a fight with a single, you know, with, with a one here, one there. Tatsuji looking for the meet and greet with the knee, a right hand outside thigh kick. And we may see a repeat of the last round where Tatsuji brings it home strongly in the last minute and a half. You know, they were talking about that at the rules meeting yesterday. Cup the head, you know, no clinching, but you can clinch the head, spin, and, and deliver a knee. So I guess uh, Tatsuji was make, taking his notes. The crowd's starting to rally for Ryuji, the local fighter. As he backs Tatsuji in the red corner, but still can't find the power salvo. High knee from Ryuji, rallying back. Here in the third round, Ryuji, showing tremendous heart. This is just a fantastic contest of intestinal fortitude. I think both fighters are pretty exhausted at this point. So there doesn't seem to be much power in either one of their punches. They haven't stopped, Mike. They have not stopped. Flipping right hand, Tatsuji. They must have heard my comment that the 60 kilo fighters were more active. <laughs> High right round kick. Trying for a Hail Mary shot, Ryuji. Very vocal crowd here in Fukuoka. Now yeah, the very chance go up for Tatsuji. It's a Japanese crowd. You know, you'd think we're in the States. They've always been this way, though, in Fukuoka. A lot quieter in Tokyo. But Fukuoka by the sea. You're always a little more vocal. People know how to party. Oh, yeah. Uppercut from Tatsuji. Final seconds. They are just throwing down in center ring like something out of a movie. And they give each other a glance of respect. Beautiful ending. Toe to toe. Toe to toe, almost, toe the, the last minute looked like that Gary you moment. Whatever <laughs> it is. Gary you time. Throwing down without apprehension. So we will go to the judges' scorecard. Three judges here ringside. Their scorecards so far have been flashed up between rounds. It has been Tatsuji leading going into the third. And it should see Tatsuji with his ninth K1 victory. The former Rise Dead or Alive tournament winner and a two-time K1 Max Japan tournament runner-up, Tatsuji. <laughs> First judge gives it Tatsuji, 29-28. Second judge, a draw, 29-29. And third judge tips it over the line, 29-28. Two judges giving the way of Tatsuji. One gives it a draw. Tatsuji claims the victory here in Fukuoka. Brave effort nonetheless, though, Mike Hogan, from a resilient Ryuji. No, good effort from Ryuji. Uh, you know, in a way, I'm actually glad that one judge saw, you know, commanded him for his effort. I don't, I don't know about a draw, but he definitely, you know, he definitely did not quit. Uh, that's for sure. And he, and he had a, you know... He had a will to try to win this fight. He just kind of came short. So in the battle of the Ujis between Ryuji and Tatsuji, it was Tatsuji who emerged triumphant. And I am luck. now one and two. You are.